Question one. Well, what do we know? It tells me that x plus three is a factor. So therefore, we should know from our factor theorem that if I sub in minus three into this, then the answer should be equal to zero. So that's a key bit of information that we need to know. So sub it in, see what happens. Now, when I do this, don't do anything, just literally sub it all in. Here we go. So plus 2a and minus 3 squared, minus 4, minus, it's times minus 3. Don't work anything out yet. And we know the whole lot is equal to 0. OK, do the obvious stuff. So if we look at the beginning, that's going to be minus 27 times 3. So you're going to have minus 81. And then what's going to happen here? That's going to be 9 times 2. So that's going to be 18a plus 12 and plus 5a. And that lot is got to equal 0. OK, a little bit of messing about with this. Let's have a little look. So we've got 23a. Let's just tidy this up. And then that equals take away 12 plus 81. It's going to be 69. Divide both sides by 23. And we get a equals 3. And that was the question.